Welcome. Today I am going to talk to you about airless sprayers for epoxy floors and should you use them and I'll also tell you the reason why I have stopped using them. So this is an example of someone using an airless sprayer, applying an epoxy with an airless sprayer. Um, I'm going to present to you the disadvantages and well, the advantages first and then the disadvantages of uh, using airless sprayers and what you should look out for. So let's go with the advantages and the most obvious one and the one that most of you are thinking about is speed. When you have an airless sprayer, everything is so much faster. You can churn out thousands of square meters in a short period of time. Really, if you're well organized, you can do it if you have a good team to do it. And that is why it is this it, it can boost your productivity big time. And that is why many contractors use airless sprayers in their business. This is probably the biggest advantage I see. You can save on so many labor costs by using an airless sprayer. But there's also another very big advantage I want to talk to you about. And that is pay attention to this picture here. Look at the texture. Look at how nice and smooth it is. It nearly looks like it's a self-leveling. And the interesting thing here is that you apply much less product than you would apply with a self-leveling, but you get this beautiful smooth texture that you cannot get if you applied the floor with a roller. So that's a second great advantage. But we need to look at the disadvantages because they are many, they are significant, and it's probably the reason why I do not use an airless sprayer. After my last one broke down, I just have stopped using an airless sprayer. Number one is maintenance and cleaning is such a hassle. Every time you have epoxy stuck in the system, you need to clean it out really well. If something gets stuck, it breaks down. And then you're like changing pipes and valves and all these little things and hoses. So make make sure that you are it's cleaning is a hassle. The second one is take a look at this picture. Look at the cardboard and how all the cardboard has been painted. When you use an airless sprayer, you get a lot of splash. So you need to make sure about that. And the next problem with airless sprayer is, well, you need to use solvents. And solvents are flammable, solvents are smelly, solvents affect safety. So if you're going to work with solvents, you also need to have people with large amounts of solvent. I'm not talking about a little bit. I'm talking about large amounts of solvent. You need to wear the right equipment. It's never, never pretty. And the next thing I want to tell you about a disadvantage about using airless sprayers is we'll take a look at the small room. You should never doing airless sprayers within small rooms is a real hassle because the amount of work you need to clean your machine and prepare the machine and also all the wastage. Because when you're done spraying, you've still got like a pail or two stuck in the system, which needs to be washed out. So you've basically wasted an extra two, two pails in a small room that can add up. It's a big, big cost. So you want to be aware of these costs when you are using airless sprayer. And the next thing I want to warn you about is consumption. If you don't know how to use an airless sprayer properly, your product consumption will explode. I've seen it happen so many times. If you're not experienced, you might think you are, you are consuming 500 grams a square meter. And before you realize it, you're consuming 800 and you're completely off budget and you run out of products. So you want to weigh these advantages and disadvantages and ask yourself, is it really worth it? For me, I said it's not worth it to continue using airless sprayers, but maybe in your line of business, it's worth it. And I want you to ask these questions if you want to invest in airless equipment. Number one, do you have many large scale projects and large projects like maybe garages or buildings and they require thin film coatings because if you may have large projects that require self leveling or bigger builds where an airless equipment is not really worth it, you can't really use it for that purpose. And also ask yourself, what about labor costs? Are they significant in your business? Do you really think you can save labor costs by using an airless prayer? And most importantly, do you have the right people to use this equipment? They need to be trained. They need to know. They need to understand consumption. And it's so many things like splash, like I mentioned before. Anyway, if you want to learn more about um, epoxy floors and what I think about, check out our online course. And thank you for watching. And you can check out these links below with lots of great links. And uh, also these videos will uh, give you lots of advice. Thank you very much for watching. 
Take care, everyone.